What is going on guys? Brethren here and welcome your faces back to another video. So today we are going to be talking about the new Pixelmon 3.0 update which apparently is almost ready to go into beta testing and all that kind of goodness. So it should be out within the next couple weeks. But we're going to talk about all the things that the Pixelmon mod creators have shared about this update so far up to date. So if you guys do go to enjoy this video, please do hit that like button and if you are new to the channel, feel free to subscribe for more awesome Minecraft content. So real quick before we get started guys, I wanted to say all of this information is 100% confirmed. It is all off of the Pixelmon mod website. If you'd like to go check that out for yourself, feel free to do so. It'll be the first link in the description. And all these various videos that you do see in this video, the original links will also be in the description as well. So Pixelmon 3.0 is going to be the biggest update that we have seen so far for the Pixelmon mod. It has got tons of new additions as well as it has up to 40 new types of Pokemon that they will be adding which is the most Pokemon that they have currently added at a single given update. Now out of those 40 new Pokemon that are going to be coming in the 3.0 update, they haven't specified what exactly those Pokemon are going to be. They have given us a few screenshots as well as a little bit of a clip to look at. As you can see here we have Ampharos as well as Renekluus I believe is how you pronounce that as well as we have Scizor and similar to Gengar as well as Alakazam you'll need to trade your buddy your Scyther with a metal coat on it which is a new item coming in the 3.0 as well and it'll turn into a Scizor which is pretty boss I know a lot of people are looking forward to that but moving away from that and into some more awesome features that they're adding in the 3.0 update there is going to be a new sub biome which they're almost finished with and I can't wait for them to show some screenshots on that you're also going to be able to breed Pokemon in this new update which is going to be freaking sweet and also there is going to be some new quest there's gonna be legendary bird quest it says that you have seen the shrines and the rest of the quest is being developed so that's gonna be really awesome and definitely excited to see some of that as well as for the server operators they're gonna be changing some of the things up I'm assuming probably with the config files to where we can mess around a little bit more as far as turning some of this stuff on and off as well as being able to probably go in and change the spawn rates on some of these new Pokemon that they're gonna be adding I don't really know they haven't specified much on that of course when they do I will definitely let you guys know they have also rewritten the PC code now this is a big one guys if you are a hardcore Pixelmon fan and you play on servers and stuff like that or even just in survival mode you know that the PC has been very very glitchy and you can actually lose Pokemon and supposedly in this new update they have fixed that to where it is now rock solid you can't lose Pokemon as well as it does have a right click menu just like how your normal inventory works so that's very very awesome as well as you can now swap Pokemon in a player inventory as well to where you don't have to go to your PC to actually swap up your Pokemon so it's pretty beast that you can do that now from your in-game inventory moving away from that another great addition that they're gonna be bringing into this new 3.0 update is the Pixelmon spawner and it does just that it is a custom spawner you can pick what Pokemon it spawns increase or decrease the actual spawn ticks as well as the rarity of that Pokemon this is gonna be excellent for Pixelmon related maps, mini games, as well as just adventure maps in general. I know that we've already been building some secret quests and things like that on the Elite Pixelmon server and we're just waiting for these spawners to come out as well as the new custom trainers which we'll get into here in just a second. So similar to the new Poka Spawners feature, you also have a feature now to where you can actually spawn out your own custom trainer. These new customizable trainers have tons of new features. You can change their name, the model, what they look like, as well as whether it be an easy boss or a legendary boss. You can also change whether it stands still or whether it just actually roams around. You can change the Pokemon, whether they be shinies or regular. You can also change the message to when you defeat the trainer or rather initiate battle with this trainer as well and to top it all off you can actually have this trainer give people items whenever it is defeated which I am very very excited for and just another awesome feature for quests as well as custom maps moving on another awesome feature that they added is they actually added the pokey loot which is a side mod or used to be a side mod but it's actually gonna be part of the new 3.0 update and basically what this is is there's random just pokeballs all around the world and when you go up and hit one it'll give you a random item such 
such as say an elixir or a potion or even in some rare cases you will find a master ball. This will also come equipped with item finders which basically does the same thing. You find the item but it is kind of like an invisible item and then you just hit the air and a item basically just pops out of thin air and once again the item can be random. And of course guys, last but not least, this is definitely a cool addition and this is also coming in a 3.0 update and that is the ability to actually check your stats. You can just type in slash Pokestats and it'll tell you how many wins as well as losses and there's this thing called PTS and I don't really know what that's supposed to stand for, maybe how many Pokemon you've caught, I don't really know, maybe that has something to do with your connection or something, but nevertheless, definitely a cool feature and excited to start using this one as well. Anyways though guys, that is pretty much all the information up to date that the mod developers have shared with us so far. They are going to be coming out with a video here within the next couple weeks at showcasing every single thing that they're going to be putting into this new 3.0 update. When they do that, I will definitely put that link in the description below as well. Like I was saying earlier though, original videos, those links will be in the description below as well as the Pixelmon mod developers website so you guys can go over there and check them out. With that being said though guys, if you did enjoy the video, please do give a like rate and definitely shows your support and helps other people to actually get a chance to see this if you're new to the channel feel free to subscribe but other than that thanks so much for watching guys i hope you're having an awesome day and i will see your face in the next video peace out guys